Whose fans say they don't know his real name? Does the actor who plays Barry Kripke have a speech impediment in real life? And who of the Big Bang Theory supporting cast played in The Mandalorian? The answer will surely surprise you. Hi, I'm Dylan. Let's find out. Will Wheaton as himself. Sheldon's sworn enemy turned friend, Will became a favorite recurring character for many fans. And make him sort of an ally to Sheldon. I still call him Evil Will Wheaton. After all, he supported the guy so much. He proved to be a friend to Sheldon by giving him a signed, mint condition Wesley Crusher action figure. He supported Penny when she was having troubles with her career, and he also helped the gang make some celebrity connections. And here's the funny thing. Will once confessed that a lot of fans of The Big Bang Theory had no idea that he was playing himself in the show. I've met people who have said to me, love your work on the show, and this is really embarrassing. I know that your character is Will Wheaton, but I don't know what your name is, the actor revealed. Ooh, wow, I guess it's time for them to watch some Star Trek. He's the Will Wheaton, guys, and his work continues to revolve around the Star Trek universe because these days, Will is hosting the after show titled The Ready Room, where he discusses all the episodes of the series. It's pretty exciting, so give it a watch. If you're a fan, of course. Christine Baranski as Beverly Hofstadter. Moving on to Leonard's mom, although she was a nightmare for her son, it was still entertaining to watch her interactions with the gang, and with Mary Cooper, of course. Christine Baranski once shared that more often than not, people seeing her in the street call her Leonard's mom. The show is just such a mega hit, the actress admitted. There are worse things to be called, believe me. Well, it's certainly nothing to complain about. Baranski isn't only a good actress, she's also really into musicals. You can see her singing and dancing in both Mamma Mia movies based on ABBA's songs, and she also took part in Dolly Parton's Christmas on the Square last year. Other than that, Christine still appears regularly on TV. She's now playing in The Good Fight, a spin-off of The Good Wife. And we'll soon see her in the upcoming historical drama The Gilded Age, where she'll play the lead heroine, a proud and stubborn aristocrat. She'll probably be great in this role. Lori Metcalf as Mary Cooper. Ah, her chemistry with the gang was undeniable, and all her religious comments were pure gold. Lori Metcalf certainly enjoyed playing Sheldon's mom, and ever since she made her final appearance in The Big Bang Theory in 2018, the actress has kept on acting in other TV shows and movies. For example, you could hear her recognizable voice as Mrs. Davis in Toy Story 4. And she also plays one of the lead roles in the ABC sitcom The Connors, that serves as a spin-off continuation of Roseanne. Another memorable guest star from The Big Bang Theory also plays in this series, but we'll get back to her later. Besides all this, Metcalf also takes her acting talent to the stage. She played Hillary Clinton in the play Hillary and Clinton, and she was also one of the lead roles in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. And now, let's move on to her on-screen daughter. Courtney Hengler as Missy Cooper. She only appeared in a few episodes, but fans immediately fell in love with Sheldon's charming and funny twin sister. And when we watched young Sheldon, we started loving her even more. The role of Missy brought Courtney Hengler popularity, but these days, she's getting even more famous. If you're a Cobra Kai fan, you know what I'm talking about. But can you believe that just before she was cast to play Amanda LaRusso in the popular series, Courtney was about to quit acting? I'd been doing it for so long since I was in my 20s. It was exhausting and I just wasn't getting any further, the actress recalled. Her husband then reminded her that they got health insurance from her job and encouraged her to keep on doing it for a bit longer. She agreed and soon after landed her role in Cobra Kai. So these days, Hengler doesn't think about quitting anymore. She's happy to do her job and raise her kids at the same time. And we're happy for her. June Squibb as Meemaw. Since we're talking about Sheldon's family, how can we miss out on his beloved Mima? After all, he loved his granny more than anyone else, except for Amy, maybe. June Squibb only appeared in The Big Bang Theory once, but she was so memorable. In fact, she was supposed to appear in the show again during Sheldon and Amy's wedding. The crew even had a phone message recorded with Mima congratulating her grandson on the big day. But the scene had to be cut because the wedding episode was way too long. Too bad we didn't get to see it. But June Squibb has kept on appearing here and there on TV and in movies. After The Big Bang Theory, she played small roles in Shameless, Grey's Anatomy, and Good Girls. And she also appeared in last year's Time Loop movie, Palm Springs, as well as in Godmothered and Palmer. 
Not bad for a woman who's over 90 years old, right? But for June, age is just a number, and she uses her career to prove it to the world. I always feel rules are meant to be broken, the actress once said about ageism in show business. Way to go! Sarah Gilbert as Leslie Winkle Although we only saw her in the first season of The Big Bang Theory, she remained a memorable character. She had a short-lived romance with both Leonard and Howard, and she also had an ongoing feud with Sheldon that resulted in many hilarious jokes. Sarah Gilbert joined the show mostly because Johnny Galecki was in it, and they'd been friends ever since they played a couple in Roseanne. In fact, he even helped her when she decided to come out as gay. And these days, Sarah still plays her Roseanne character in The Connors, where Galecki once again joined her, playing her estranged husband. Plus, for nine years, Gilbert also hosted a show, The Talk on CBS, where she discussed various issues, from current news to motherhood. Have you ever seen it? Share in the comments below. John Ross Bowie as Barry Kripke because of his feud with Sheldon, this guy kinda replaced Leslie Winkle for the viewers. Although he was brilliant, funny, and arrogant, what made Kripke stand out the most was his speech impediment. So you're probably wondering if the actor has it in real life? Well, in fact, he doesn't. He came up with that at the Big Bang Theory showrunner's request at one of his auditions. I played Kripke as the arrogant prick you see before you, and Chuck Lorre felt that he needed some vulnerability, John Ross Bowie revealed. He suggested a speech impediment, and that's how the whole thing started. So if you hear Bowie in real life or see him in other projects, you probably won't even recognize his voice. Anyway, go ahead and watch Speechless, an ABC sitcom about a family with a teenager who has a disability. Bowie's part of the main cast there, and you'll love his acting. Besides that, you can also see him in one of the supporting roles in The Rock's Jumanji, The Next Level, as well as in the upcoming comedy, Bad Therapy. This guy's a thing for making people laugh, right? Ricky Lindholm as Ramona Nowitzki Sure, we can't leave out the woman who had a huge crush on Sheldon and made him propose to Amy by kissing him. She disappeared very quickly from the show after Amy and Sheldon got engaged. And it happened because the show writers only wanted Ramona to bring an extra challenge into Sheldon's life while his girlfriend was away. Apart from appearing in three episodes of The Big Bang Theory, Ricky Lindholm played in the Oscar-winning film Million Dollar Baby, as well as Knives Out and The Wolf of Snow Hollow. And you might know her as part of the comedy duo Garfunkel and Oates, where she performs as Garfunkel. In fact, her colleague in this duo was actress Kate Micucci, who played Lucy, Raja's shy girlfriend in The Big Bang Theory. They sing funny songs together, and people even call them the female Tenacious D. If you want to form your own opinion about the duo, you've got to listen to their music. But do it after watching this video till the end. Brian Pussain as Bert this is one supporting character who deserved better. Just like Stuart, he could have become part of the gang, don't you agree? Share in the comments below what you think about Bert. Either way, Brian Possein liked working on the show. I love that style of comedy. I love a lot of different types of comedy, but the sitcom format is so classic. I would do that show or shows like it again, the actor once shared. And while he's waiting to become a sitcom character again, he's not resting on his laurels. Hossein continues to appear in various TV shows. He even got a small role in The Mandalorian. And he's also working on his music. Last year, Hossein released his first music-only album titled Grandpa Metal. The album features comedy metal music and metal covers of famous songs. And it also has some famous guests, including members of Guns N' Roses, Slipknot, and Slayer. If you're into metal, be sure to listen to this album. Bob Newhart as Arthur Jeffries. And of course, we can't finish our video without Professor Proton. Bob Newhart and the showrunner Chuck Lorre had known each other for years before he got the part, and they'd always wanted to work together. I really like Big Bang, the actor said. I like the writing on it. I love the cast, and I still have my comedy fastball. It's more like 42 miles per hour now. I still know how to do that. Yeah, he was great as Professor Proton, and it was remarkable that even after the character died, he kept on coming back in Sheldon's dreams to help him make crucial decisions. Being 91 years old and having a huge comedic background, Bob Newhart is taking a well-deserved rest these days. He hasn't worked on anything since The Big Bang Theory and Young Sheldon, so he's probably just having a peaceful time with his wife of 58 years. Good for him! Are you wondering if we left Stuart out? Don't worry, we just don't think of him as a supporting character. So you can learn what he's doing now in our other video about the Big Bang Theory's main cast. Thanks for watching!